VLC Media Player is a popular media playing application for both Mac OS X and Windows that can virtually play any kind of media file, whether it be a WMV file or an MP4 file. And so VLC is a greatly popular program that plays almost any kind of file. But what if you want to go ahead and control VLC Media Player from your phone? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use your iPhone or iPod Touch as a remote control to remote control VLC Media Player on your computer. So to go ahead and get started, the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need to download VLC Media Player onto your computer if you don't have it already. You can download this from videoland.org slash VLC. I will provide a link in the video's description. So once you have VLC Media Player downloaded, the first thing you want to go do is you want to go to iTunes and you want to go to the iTunes App Store and you want to search for VLC Remote. You'll see two options there, VLC Remote Lite and VLC Remote just normal. VLC VLC Remote Normal, I believe, is around $5, and VLC Remote Lite is free. I'd go for pay for the $5 version because it gets you the full amount, so you can get the full amount of usability out of the application, and $5 isn't that much. So just go ahead and download that application and make sure it's downloaded onto your iPhone or iPod Touch. Once you have that downloaded, the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and set it up. So to go ahead and set it up, what you want to do is you just want to open up the application on your phone, and then it'll prompt you to go ahead and search for VLC on your computer. It'll prompt you for somewhere to put in your email address and password, and it will send you an email email with download for something called VLC setup .dmg or if you're on Windows .exe. So just go ahead and open that up and basically what it'll do is it'll come up to this VLC setup icon. Just go ahead and launch that up and open it up and then here where it says VLC remote helper click setup VLC and it will set up VLC so that the VLC on your computer can read the VLC setup on your phone. So once you have that done, now you can go ahead and just open up the VLC remote application on your phone, and you can go ahead and select the computer that has the little VLC icon on it. Now if you can't see your computer or you can't access it anymore, make sure you have the VLC application on your computer open first, and then go ahead and just click on your library there and you'll get something that looks like this. Once you're in this you can get a ton of different options over here but if you go ahead and click this little button right here it'll bring you something that will allow you to scroll through all the different files and folders of your computer. So just go ahead and do that. Click on the one you want to and I'm going to click on this folder here that says music samples and just go ahead and click on one and it will immediately start playing on your computer. And you can basically go ahead and use this to go ahead and use your phone as a remote control to remote control VLC media player from your phone. Phone. So this would be good in a scenario if you're like at a party and your computer is hooked up to a home entertainment system and you can change the music from your phone like it was a remote control. Now there's a couple other things that you can do with this application. I'm not going to go into some great detail with it, but you can go ahead and set a playlist with all the different folders that you've got on your computer and you can go ahead and play them from here. Other than that, you have the basic commands of play, pause, and stop. And you have a bunch of other options like the time and advanced controls and skins and settings and stuff. But I'm not going to go through in too great of a detail what all of these are. Well, basically, that's it. That's the application VLC Remote for the iPhone and iPod Touch. You can use it to control VLC Media Player from your computer, basically to basically, you know, if you have a uh, home entertainment PC or if you just want to remote control the music from your computer. Anyway, that's how to do it. The application is... Uh, five dollars in the Apple App Store and I also believe you can get this application for Android as well but anyway that's it for today's video thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video later